Hey guys, Shimmer here, and I am finally able to share with you some information about Elsewhere from the playtest I attended at Zoss headquarters in early March. In this video, I am going to talk about the changes coming to Cyrodiil and the Volundrum artifact weapon and how it will work. Now this is all pre-PTS info and this could change before launch, but this is the information that was given to us. There will be time links in the about section below, so you can skip over some parts if you want, but let's get to it. First up, the changes to Cyrodiil. They will be removing the guest campaign option entirely and only allowing you to choose a main campaign. You will still be able to visit the other campaigns, you just won't have to choose a guest. They will be adding an alliance lock to 30 day, no CP, and under 50 campaigns. This means if you make a home campaign on a 30 day, no CP or under 50 campaign, you will not be able to home campaign that same campaign on another character you have if it is not through the same alliance. You can abandon it and set it as a home campaign on your other alliance tune, but your character that abandoned it will lose all AP earned and will not receive the end of campaign rewards. Emperor will now only be able to be earned once per campaign per account. Seven Day Standard will remain the same and will not have an alliance lock. Now let's talk about the Volundrum. Now we were not able to actually play or test the Volundrum, but we were given a demonstration by Wheeler who showed us the nitty gritty of it. The Volundrum is basically a mega weapon that will randomly spawn in Cyrodiil around every 5 hours or more. It will be completely random time wise so that people won't know when to expect it. They wanted it to remain a little rare and unpredictable so that people aren't showing up in the zone at a certain spawn time waiting for this thing to spawn. It was designed to sort of be like an oh shit moment when that could turn the tide of a campaign. Uh, it will not spawn near keeps and it will spawn closer to the alliance with the least amount of points. Again, there are no static spawn spots and it will be completely random except that it will spawn closer to the losing alliance's side. Now let's talk about the Volundrum skills. When you pick up the Volundrum, you will have a new progression bar on the bottom right of your screen. This will show you how long you have left until the weapon basically eats you. You will have to feed the weapon by killing enemy players to keep that progress bar at full. If the progress bar empties, you will die to the weapon. They designed the weapon to go around 10 minutes without feeding because, well, let's face it, Cyrodiil is very large and it could be a while before you see anybody else. You can mount with the Volundrum and you can use potions. When you pick up the weapon, your abilities will be replaced with the Volundrum weapon abilities. The ultimate pulls enemy towards you. You are given a heal over time and some other really painful damage abilities. It was designed to be able to solo a keep or, or a full zerg and win. The current emperor is the only person who cannot pick up the Volundrum. If you die while holding the Volundrum, you will drop it and anyone else can pick it up except for the Emperor. If no one picks it up after 30 minutes, it will despawn. He did show us uh, taking on a keep in less than 5 minutes it, and killing tons and tons of NPCs in like 5 hits. It was it was pretty, pretty insane, and it will be interesting to see what it is like live, especially when he went in and he just basically, like, pew-pewed down that keep all by himself. Um, I'm sure it will be absolute sheer chaos and cries from the enemy on the other side of the weapon. Um, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. I do have a couple other Elsewhere videos coming out today, which you can check out here on the end screen and on the uh, card menu up here in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, but that's it for now. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you in Tamriel. Bye!